So just as I go to tighten that last nut up, just as I go to pull the torque wrench, the airlock reaches my excavation, the 12 inch clamp completely explodes in half, the torque wrench I had in my hand at the time was catapulted straight into my face at 80 miles an hour, into my eye, into my head, pretty much knocked me out, killed me probably pretty much instantly. I then fell into the bottom of the excavation and started drowning. Connor, who's a man mountain, he's about six foot seven, something like that. He stood at the top of the excavation and nobody ever wakes up and thinks today's the day we're gonna die. Today's the day we're gonna have an accident. We don't wake up and have that thought. So Connor's just watching me do these bolts up, completely unaware of what happens. And he said, all of a sudden there's just this explosion and this bang and this jet cannon of water hits him at about 80 miles an hour, completely sends him back. And I think he said he actually was in someone's hedge in their garden sort of thing. That's how much the water pushed him across two lanes of traffic. And he has actually ended up in someone's hedge in their garden. Now, thank God he wasn't knocked out. If Connor was knocked out, that's where the, the story basically ends for me. Um, but he's managed to get to his feet and he starts to panic because he can't work out where I am. So if you can imagine, it's 10 o'clock at night. The spotlight's been blown out. Um, the barriers are washed away, the muck's washed away, and we are in complete darkness. So he, he struggles to understand where the excavation is. You've got to think, he's been hit 80 miles an hour, so he's probably disorientated at this point, and his head's probably spinning. So for him, he starts to panic because he's like, I have no idea where this excavation is. Now, he starts to walk to the van. The reason he starts to walk to the van is he knew we were working at the back of the excavation. I like to always pull my van at the back of the excavation so I can jump in and out the back. So he knew that's where we was roughly working. So he decides to shuffle across the road. Just as he goes off towards the van, something caught his eye. Whether or not it was the, uh, the, the street light, whether or not it was the moon, but he said he just saw this little orange ripple in this water that caught the corner of his eye. I